The straightforward definition of the word over-the-counter cures for yeast infection is that they are purchased from a vendor who specializes in pharmaceutical work. People often try to treat their symptoms first, before seeking doctor's opinion, when they become ill. This is normally not recommended, but it could actually be a lifesaver particularly in given serious situations, where a doctor cannot trace speedily. For diseases such as the yeast infection that are not seriously perceived, victims prefer buying antifungal creams or antibiotics from over-the-counter, which might work or not depending on the severity of their yeast infection. There is nothing wrong with anyone opting for over-the-counter cures for yeast infection, although this could sometimes be fatal. I know you cannot count the number of times you had to rely on these cures too and they worked amazingly. Many people believe that the over-the-counter cures for yeast infection come in many varieties to fit any given ailment and income groups. For instance, it is very easy to find one that not only heals yeast infection on the skin but the pubic parts too. Everyone likes variety of choices especially when one is confronted with yeast infection dilemma that is causing vaginal itching and thus ashamed to see the doctor. If you prefer to use holistic treatment instead of OTC, try using yeast infection no more treatment to get fast effective and permanent results. It is in one 50-page downloadable ebook that details what exactly is the root cause of yeast infection. The best way to fight or beat something is to understand it first and what exactly is causing it. Author has a comprehensive write-up about this in her ebook. The other reason why people opt over-the-counter cures for yeast infection medications such as monostat, femstat, vagistat, and gynolotrimin is because such cures are most easily available, and one could expect to find the required drug at the nearest drug shop or store. This attribute of variety also means that customers could buy different drugs and affordable prices. One could manipulate their available income to purchase the quantity one can afford at a given period of time, as opposed to a doctor's prescription, which is normally taken as instructed. As much as over-the-counter cures for yeast infection are believed to be good and convenient, they cannot go without criticisms. Since people who mostly purchase the drugs do not seek doctor diagnosis first, to ascertain the existence of yeast fungi overgrowth, they end up buying wrong cures. One may poison their body thinking that they are struggling with vaginal yeast infection, while to their dismay, it is a very different and serious health condition. Sometimes when one has suffered critically for a long time without getting well they may not bother to read the instructions on the drug label, and so they either take wrong drug or dosage which is deadly. Some drug stores could also shamelessly sell expired drugs to the unsuspicious buyer, who may take them one after another without getting better. This could also cause adverse effects. To some extent, the same vendors could also hike prices above normal especially if the law on such goods is not enforced well. So whenever one chooses the over-the-counter medicine for yeast infection, it is imperative to start by seeking diagnosis from a specialist who should recommend the right drugs to purchase. Then do not by blindly ask for the drug history booklet to read the instructions till you understand. This will save you the trauma of discovering that you are taking expired or wrong drugs or both.